go ahead and find volume and surface area of this shape that is right here. So um, volume. I know the volume is the area of the base times the height. So the base is this circle here, which is the same as this circle. So the base area uh, would be pi times the radius squared. Now notice my radius is 4. On some of the problems, it'll be like 8. It'll show you the diameter. Remember, you want to use the radius. So this is uh, the base is 16 pi. That's the area of the base. And then the volume is uh, that area of the base times the height. And the height is 12. So it's 16 times pi times 12. And I could grab my calculator and just do that. So 16 times pi times 12. And that's about 603.19. Notice I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to round that up. So 603.19. And I might say about, and that's going to be uh, units cubed because it's a measure of, of volume. All right, so there's my there's my volume for that first one. Surface area. For the surface area, I'm going to think about um, cutting it along the side, rolling it out, so I get that rectangle from that, and then the circle that was on the base, and the circle that was uh, on the base and on the top. And that's four. That's four. And the things that I know about this rectangle that's right here, I know that. Um, this side right here is 12, right? Like that's where I would have cut it and rolled it out. And then this side right here is the circumference of that circle. So that is um, 2 times pi times 4. So that would be, uh, what, 8 pi? So the, the, vo the area, sorry, surface area of just this rectangle right here is 12 times... 8 pi, and that's a 96 pi. So I have my my rectangle, 96 pi. And then I have two circles to account for. So circles, there's two of them, and it's pi r squared. So pi times 4 squared. So it's 2 times 16 pi, and that's 32 pi plus 96 pi. And, and notice that if I have 32 of them and I add 96 of them, that's 128 of them, 128 pi. And I could get an approximation for that on my calculator as well, 128 times pi. And that is about 402.12. And that would be units squared because it's a surface area measurement, how many squares cover the, cover the area.